welcome back to JTMJ Crafts. How's it going, everybody? Today we are in the kitchen. You ready? Are you ready? I have a tri-tip. I'm going to show you guys how I prepare my tri-tip and how I barbecue slash smoke it. So right now, we're going to get this bad boy opened up. Since I'm doing a, a dry rub on it, I will just put it into this for now. Get off my hand. Let go of me. And today, I need a paper towel. Grab a couple paper towels, so I need it. Today, I'm using this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. It's called Reloaded Rub and Season Fully Loaded Premium Signature Blend. No MSG, no sugar, no gluten. And this is like my favorite stuff. I had to go buy a whole new bottle of it. That's why this one's really full. And I just take it and give it a good dousing of this. And then I just take my hand and just kind of push it in because you want it to sit on there and get. That's why they call it a dry rub. Just kind of put a good healthy coat on it. Push it into the meat. Let it sit, and then I'll take it and flip it over, and do the other side the same way. And just kind of push it into the meat, so it can soak in. The juices will take it and pull it all in nice and fresh. And then I take some teriyaki and I get this bad boy here, which is a full out meat tenderizer or not tea tenderizer. Wrong words, Jeremy. It's a, uh, Meat injector. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is like super heavy duty. I have a smaller one of these, but this one's just so much better. I look at the the tip. Anybody need a shot? This bad boy opened up here. Jeez, wait. No, come off. There we go. Oh, it's got one of those stupid protectors on it. All right, we are in the business. And I just stick this down the side of there. Pull it all the way out, fill it with juice, and then I just take this bad boy and I'll stick it in like that. As far as I can. And just push. And it kind of pushes itself along the way as the tri-tip gets full, filled up with teriyaki. And I'll do that a couple of times throughout it. Try to make sure everything 
think it's nice and filled up with teriyaki. You can see it just expand. And that's all I'm going to do. This teriyaki can be way overwhelming. Uh, you can see how much of the teriyaki I used. It was a brand new bottle, so it's down to here. And it was up into this range when I opened it. So I used a fair amount. And we'll just let this sit like this and marinade itself like this until this evening when I'm ready to put it on the barbecue. I may end up and take some of that teriyaki and put it on the outside of it once it's starting to barbecue. But we'll walk through all those steps. So for right now, I'm just going to take this, put it in the freezer or refrigerator. Made a little bit of a mess, but hey, it's all good. I'm a messy person. And we're getting into one of my favorite cookbooks. Unfortunately, this company, I don't know, something happened and they quit sending me the books. I bought a lifetime membership to this company and on a monthly basis they sent you recipes and all of a sudden I quit getting them and it's got a bunch of stuff so you got stove stop chicken oven roasted chicken quick and easy chicken um, stove top meat dishes, oven baked dishes, quick and easy meat dishes, like a crock pot, seafood dishes on the stove top, and then it gets into like breads and muffins, pies and pastries, um, traditional eclairs, and torts. This is actually one of my favorite things to make, is eclairs and cream puffs. Absolutely awesome. And then it gets into uh, sunny lemonade floats, ice cream, or puddings, smoothies. And then it gets you into your pastas and all the oven pastas, stovetop pastas. And then... Where's it at? Did I pass my potatoes? Potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Maybe I didn't pass them. Oh, no, I haven't passed them yet. I meant, I have, jeez, potatoes. Bunch of different potato mixes. These right here. Quick and easy oven fries. Oh my god, they're so good. Garlic mash, golden home fries, this right here, buttery potato fans, this is what I'm making for you guys, this is one of my favorites, um, and then mashed potato bakes, sweet fries, oh my god, takes Sweet potatoes, cut it up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So delicious. Easy baked potatoes, shredded potatoes, and gluten. Rosemary potatoes. Anyways, so this is what we're going to make. When it comes time to that point, I'll show you guys what to do. It gives you a full recipe on the back side of the card. buttery potato fans. So, we're going to let that meat marinate and soak and get all nice and juicy marinade. It is uh, 9.55 this morning, so that meat's going to sit in the, the, the fridge and marinate until probably close to 5 o'clock this afternoon, and then I will put it on and start cooking it 
It should take roughly 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how you like your meat cooked. So stay tuned. I'll be back. For you, it'll be a split second. For me, it'll be several hours. See you when we get back. Okay, so we are ready to get going with the potatoes because there's a little bit of prep to do with them. I've already washed them. I have made this Pacific potato recipe. I can't tell you how many times. Like, literally, buku, buku times. So, I'm going to show you guys what I like to do. And because it says it's only supposed to take 30 minutes to cook a potato with the slices in it. But the last, like, 20, 30 times I've made these, it's taken like an hour. Because the potatoes were so hard, I guess, or, cr or fresh, I guess. I don't know exactly, but it took forever to cook. So... I like to take them, wash them up, put them in a pot with water, start boiling. Once it comes to a full boil, boil them for 10 minutes. Pull them out, let them sit and cool. So I've already done that. And you can tell they're just a little bit softer than normal, which is perfect. And then we're just going to take these and we're going to slice them about an eighth inch wide this also helps the potato soak up the butter that we're going to be putting in there and then it takes the the cook time down a lot you don't have to wait. It's, it makes it go a lot faster. So you're going to do it like that. And it says four, or excuse me, two tablespoons butter and two stable, tablespoons of vegetable oil. I don't like cooking with a lot of vegetable oil because, well... I use country crock on everything, so I'm sure this stuff is made out of vegetable, 30% vegetable spread. So I didn't use, I used a tablespoon of vegetable oil in this, and then I just mix it up so it's nice like this. I added my favorite thing to add to everything, Lowry's garlic salt. This is the best shit on the freaking planet. I I put that in everything. So I gave this a nice healthy dose of garlic salt. It actually says to use k kosher salt. And then you're just going to take this and just kind of try to open them. And let that butter go down inside of there. Let that butter, butter go down inside of there like that. And then take it and put it on a tray. Put it in the oven. It's ready to go. I like to do, once it's cooked, I pull it out of the oven and I dose it again. So it's got a nice buttery consistency. And we're just going to repeat that with all four potatoes. You want to leave about a quarter of an inch at the bottom so you don't cut all the way through. So I hope everybody's having a spectacular day. Since I haven't done a cooking video in a little bit, I figured 
Why not? Get in there. Get in the kitchen. Do a cooking video. Like to get them nice and opened. Get that juice down inside of them. Okay. And we're just going to step and repeat and do that to all four potatoes. Oh, I cut that one a little deep. Oh, well. This one I'm going to do a little bit, a little bit thicker. You don't have to be like really precise on your cuts. They say quarter inch slices, but I like doing them however I like them. I like them thick, I like them thin. Um, I've, I've had this brush since I did culinary arts, like, freaking a hundred years ago. So the brush looks a little, a little old looking. But, oh, did I cut that one a little low too. Oh well, not a big deal. Um, I took culinary arts right after, well, I actually, I started my culinary arts program about halfway through my junior year of high school, I started taking culinary arts. They have a lot fancier brushes now, but this one still gets the job done, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to throw that on there, too, and let it bake. So, we will let those go in the oven and bake. Um, it should take probably about a half hour. Check them in a half an hour uh, by sticking a knife into the side of it and seeing how soft it is or fork, whatever you got, you know. And then we're going to go ahead and go on out and get the briquettes going. Actually, I don't think I'm going to start these yet because that tri-tip is going to take longer to cook than these are. I can preheat the oven and yada, yada, yada. I'll see you guys at the barbecue. Okay, so you see I use briquettes. I ended up and cleaned all the ashes out of this earlier today. I'm just gonna give these guys a good dousing. Because I'm a pyro. And there they go. And then over here on this side, we have to push all these off to the side because they're not going to use them. They'll probably burn, but I'll start a new set over here. So you get another set going over here. This is where I like to put my smoking 
wood at over there these guys will be <laughs> ready to start to cook here these guys are gonna have to cook. they're gonna have to you know get all nice and hot and go down to, so once they start turning white I could start cooking but for now I will see you when we come back and put the tri-tip on and get going see you in a minute just figured I'd show you guys Trapper since he's out here being a goofball. He was rolling all over the place. No, we're not chewing on wood, son. It's not what wood's for. We got a little bit of a break in the weather. As you see, it is really, really ugly looking. It was supposed to pour today, but it never did. It actually came in a day later than they thought, but you see over there, it looks going to... It's going to look nasty, or it looks like it's going to get nasty. So, we'll see in a few. Okay, the barbecue is finally ready. I had some complications. The briquettes are about four months old, so they didn't really want to start very well. But, I got it figured out. So, as you see in here, it leaked out. A little bit of the teriyaki so I'm just going to run this around inside that teriyaki sorry I don't have my tripod set up out here because I am outside I'm on my porch right now trying to soak up as much as this teriyaki as I can okay Ready to rock and roll. Right on the hot side. I'll let it sit like that for about five minutes. And then I'll turn it. Trapper man's out enjoying the the evening. No rain yet. I need to clean out my fire pit. I can have fire. But uh, I'll be back when I'm ready to flip this bad boy over. Show you what I'm doing over here. So stay tuned. Yep, there goes Trapper. Barking at somebody. Taking their trash up to the road. Ugh. So I forgot to show you guys this. This is the smoker side of it. I got a little briquette fire in there. I got me some small chunks of oak. I'm just going to set this, kind of smash it into it, so that oak can get, get to burn them. Well, it don't really burn them, we want it to smoke. And, uh, shut her down. Yeah, um, this here, if you guys are wondering, this is... Um, t -t 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 powder coating um, like four or five months after I bought this barbecue my brother got pissed off at me and he was powder coating something on his vehicle and he turned around and sprayed my barbecue with powder coating I'm like well thanks bro I spent like $400 on this goddamn barbecue and you just spray crap all over it Luckily, it don't hurt nothing, because it's on the outside. And I made this little thing here so I can shut it down so it can get the smoking really good. It's a oldie but goodie. She is starting to smoke. 
Uh, you can see she is starting to smoke really good. I don't want to burn this, so to say, but I want to give it some good charcoal lines. Sorry, wasn't watching the angle, I was holding the camera on it. Got a little off. See all the smoke coming out from the oak? That's what she's supposed to do. Screaming and shit right now. You know, dodging iPhones and dodging some hats and shit like that. Hell, during that last song, I was about ready to take my hat off and throw it. But the only person that catches be loose, so I was like, I'll just keep my hat this time. Y'all done got me used to all kind of shit. You know, the song Holler Boys, it uh it was inspired by my brothers and my family. And uh I feel like Holler Boys is a song that right now 
uh, a lot of people can probably get some, I don't want to say inspiration, but can get some, uh, Good old grill marks, baby. It's right. All right. Well, I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes. And I'll flip it again. Get some nice grill lines going on. And, of course, Trapper's barking at something. You guys get to see a little bit of where I live. This is right out my back door. Y'all say there's no country in California. Please. I live where all the... All the beautiful scenery is. No idiotic people. He's barking at the neighbor bringing trash up. Wish I didn't. See if he comes. Here! Ah, yeah. Good boy. No, we're not chewing on wood. It's all you want to do is chew on wood. <gasps> what was that? Somebody's shooting a big old gun. Alright, y'all. We'll uh, see you shortly when uh, I go to flip this bad boy over. Stay tuned. Give it another turn. Get some nice grilling marks on it. Nice and juicy looking. Yummy. Um, I'm probably going to go get some teriyaki. And coat the outside with some teriyaki. Because. Yeah. Yummy. Look at that. It's all. The, they, 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 where I bought this at. They took a lot of fat off of it. I like the fat. Gets all nice and crunchy. Yes. It gets all nice and crunchy. Brown. And burnt. And. Yummy, yummy. So, we'll be back in about five minutes, and then I'm going to take it and pull it off to the side and not have it directly on the heat. So, we'll be back again. Okay. She is... Nice. I'm going to bring her over here and just set her off of the heat. I don't like cooking on the heat all the time. I'm watching the Ryan Upchurch premiere right now. He's singing with his mama right now. Karen the Vibe Tribe. You heard it right there. He said Vibe Tribe. Don't want to bring the bullshit home to mama. Five tribe. Alright, I'll be back shortly when this bad boy's done. So there it is. It's all done. I brought it in. I've The biggest step now is letting this sit for 15 minutes before you touch it. I cut it to make sure it was too cooked to how I like it cooked. Now we're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes and I'll be back and show you guys what I got. Stay tuned.
Okay, everybody. Are you ready for this? First off, I gotta show you guys the corn I used is Kirkland's Golden Sweet Corn. The best freaking corn you can buy in a can. I'm telling you guys right now. It is the best. So, another thing I want to show you guys. The reason why I wanted to let this sit. Look at all of the, the blood coming out of it. That's why it needed to sit. Okay, so... I may have to move you guys for a second so I can cut this. You can see that's where the teriyaki was that got injected into it. Yummy. Okay, so we're gonna get some corn. The corn's got butter and garlic salt in it, of course. Make sure you guys can see everything I'm doing here. We're going to take one of these hot potatoes. Set it here. I'll show you guys when I'm, when I'm done. Okay, push that back. Grab some of this butter and garlic. Some more butter and garlic salt on there. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this for sure. So let's oh, did I cut did I not cut this piece in half or Oh, I didn't cut it all the way through. Jeez, Jeremy. Okay. Look at how delicious that looks. I'm going to taste this. Oh my god. That is absolutely heaven. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so sit. Is it good? Heck yeah, it's good. Oh my god. That's like heaven. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Taste, give this a taste. Come on, quit breaking apart. Just give me a, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh my god. I haven't made these potatoes in a little while. 
I forgot how good these were. I went a little hog wild with garlic salt, but it's quite okay because I absolutely love garlic salt. Mm. The one thing about this, so when you're baking like this, the bottom of the potato will get really crunchy because it sits in the butter. So. Oh my god. I am in heaven. God, that corn is freaking the bomb. I'm telling you guys, the bomb. Whoo! Okay, you guys. I'm not gonna sit here and eat this in front, the rest of this in front of you guys. I'm gonna let you guys go. But I will close out the video with some more trapper footage. Because you guys know you love my trapper, man. Peace for me. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's this mean? Good boy. Now tell everybody, bye bye. Thanks for watching. Sorry that wasn't the best video because I was self recording out of a tripod, maybe a little shaky footage, and maybe a little over the place, but it's, it's done, so that's all it counts. Can I have a shake? Thank you. Good boy. Okay, that's it everybody. Hope you all enjoy, and have a, f had a fantastic weekend, and I hope you all enjoy your Monday. Bye. Don't forget peace and your love. Update on finger. Don't want to focus. Focus. Yeah. It still hurts, but peace, love, and treat each other with respect. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Bye.